Secure, Contain, Protect. SCP-277. Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. Due to difficulties inherent in containing SCP-277, it has been placed under a level lockdown. Activities of the residents of SCP-277 must be monitored by no less than embedded agents, and civilians are not to be let aware of Foundation presence or influence. Any attempts to contact civilians within SCP-277 by those outside SCP-277 must be investigated. Personnel must undergo psychological screening before being assigned to SCP-277. SCP-277 is a moderately populated town in The principal anomaly within SCP-277 are apparitions found throughout the area that seem to be images projected from children's thoughts or imagination. These are collectively referred to as SCP-277-1. Instances of SCP-277-1 appear as figures drawn in white outline with no physical substantiality of their own. The size, style in which they are drawn, are the complexity of the projections vary from child to child. Prepubescent children are the only individuals capable of producing such instances, and the process of projecting one for the most part to be unconscious and involuntary. An average of incidents of SCP-277-1 are present at any given time within the area. A largely comprehensive catalog of prepubescence and designations of their projections may be found in Document 277-1. While embedded agents are requested to report potentially uncategorized children to their supervisor to be examined. Due to the size of SCP-277, the prepubescent population there within, and security complications, this is recognized as occasionally unfeasible. Incidences of SCP-277-1 are capable of interacting with each other, although physical objects pass through, leaving no damage to either party. Children frequently play with their projections, and the existence of SCP-277-1 is regarded as normal by the residents of the town. Civilians in SCP-277 claim that the projections have been present within the town since its colonization. This claim is dubious at best, as there are no records of the area's existence before the year 2 and the towns immediately surrounding the area deny any knowledge of the city. Testing of members within SCP-277 reveal that their dental, fingerprint, and DNA records correspond with no recorded population databases. While under questioning, civilians deny any memories of living or traveling anywhere but within SCP-277. Operation 277- Update the first. Attempt number- To evacuate SCP-277 has commenced on- June 15th, small changes were made to the previous details methods of evacuation, namely in hopes of avoiding what may have caused previous failures. Documents outlining past attempts to remove civilians from SCP-277 have been found at Residents continue to deny any memories of previous evacuation attempts. Personnel members involved in previous assignments involving this suppression of SCP-277-1 and SCP-277-1-R in particular seem to have been redacted. More trained personnel and Class D subjects are requested along with the necessary medical equipment in the event of another such incident. Operation 277- Update the second. As of June 23rd, Operation 277 has proven unsuccessful due to SCP 277 1 R demonstrates the ability to render mental damage not only to prepubescents but to physically mature agents. No further evacuation attempts are to be carried out. Level lockdown suggested. Dr. Foundation personnel have been unable to trace the source of file Operation 277 
Foundation data banks have been unable to produce any ex-plugged copies of the file. No personnel or civilian in the area are able to recall any attempts made to evacuate. And the legitimacy of the file has been called into question multiple times. As per common consensus, however, no further evacuation efforts have been planned. Furthermore, it has been discovered that when a resident of SCP-277 leaves the area for over minutes, they are violently and then may be found within the area with no memory of departing from that area. Addendum 277-A As of September 14th, an undocumented 4 SCP-277-1 was photographed in a local library by a Foundation agent. No one in the vicinity claimed to be responsible for the projection, as the appearance and action of incidences of SCP-277-1 are often telling of a children's psychological profile. Efforts are being taken to identify the owner of these projections. Designation SCP-277-1-R projections that match the images shown in the drawing style or behave are to be reported immediately. Addendum 277-B Sightings of projections that are similar to SCP-277-R have tripled in frequency since September 23rd. On October 5th, there were children casualties made by members of SCP-277-R. Upon children's projections, see interview 277-A for details. Update. Three months following this incident, members of the SCP-277-R have vanished from the area. It is still unknown whether these projections from a, chi from a child or a manifestation native to SCP-277 itself. Addendum 277-C Inquiries made to civilians regarding the incident on October 5th have returned with mixed results. A number of the residents claim that they have never witnessed such an occurrence before and expressed desire for Foundation officials to quickly identify and prosecute the perpetrator. Others claim that similar events happen periodically every years. Personnel staffing SCP-277 have expressed discomfort when dealing with the members of the town. They smile too wide, as if this entire place is just a fairy tale, and that massacre was just part of their happy ending. Agent Interview 277-A Interviewed Agent Davis Interviewee, Dr. Right then, please begin at the point where you first saw the SCP-277- Well, I was walking to a local diner after the end of my shift when I saw a cluster of them across the street. It would be helpful if you could include as many details as you can, as you can recall, Davis. They were in the form of, uh, rabbits. Most of those are, for some reason. Regular kids imagine things from spaceships to magic being stars within an hour. But all I've seen in that style are rabbits. They were huddled at a street intersection, watching the passing people and cars, I think. They don't move very much or play like the other sh sketches. That's what the personnel there have been taking to call them. Sketches. Mostly they watch others. You weren't alarmed by this? What? No, no. They were pretty common by then. They didn't really do anything hostile, so the hype about them had calmed down. Noted. Please continue. Right, well, after I walked by them, I heard the, this kid scream from behind me. Little girl, maybe eight years old. She'd been playing with her sketch when I passed. This winged pony thing. So I turned around and one of the rabbits is on her sketch. I've never seen anything move that fast, and it was the closest I can think of is consuming it. While the girl was going into some type of seizure, I had trouble making sense of what I was seeing at first. It looked like one huge white scramble in the air. There was no help in the girl. I was holding her so she wouldn't hurt, she wouldn't hurt her head against that concrete. But I'm no doctor. More of the rabbits had reached other sketches by then, and those sketches too 
were being torn apart, and the kids were all screaming. And according to the documents I've been given, this was happening all over the town, right? That's correct. I un unloaded a load of shots into the, into the things, but of course that didn't help. Didn't really know why I did that. They're all in the comas now, aren't they, the kids? Yes, they are. I think that will be all, Agent Davis. One last thing. Yes? May I request to be transferred out of SCP-277? You have already been reassigned to SCP- Thanks. Goodbye then, Doc.